Zeug in die Kiste. Yo, <laughs> the devil are ya? Why are you there? What have we got today? Oh, we've got the DOS Soundbox H200 Home Speaker Wireless. Right, let's get this out of the box. <laughs> And here it is. Ooh, now I've got to say, looks wise, very nice. Very, feels very well made, nicely built. Um, you've got this uh, bamboo, I think it is, on the front here, and you've also got some bamboo on the back. Solid wood, really nice. Gives it a bit of heft, okay. Uh, then you've got your speakers here. Now you notice that the dust caps are not the cone dust caps you normally see, they're flat. And I think there's a re the reason for that is to stop little fingers pushing them in because they haven't put any covers on them. And I think if you had the dome ones, they're more likely to be pushed in where they've got the flat ones here. Shouldn't make much difference to the sound. Now, then you've got the tweeters and they've got a plastic cover. They look like silk dome tweeters to me. And they've got a plastic cover on the top here. Uh, I'm not sure if, that, if that's a waveguide or something and will help the sound. I don't know. But obviously it'll stop people, little kids, poking them in as well. Now, as you can see, they're in the centre. Rather than a lot of the times you do see tweeters on the outside. Now, I think, I'm not sure if it's just for aesthetic reasons, but potentially, I'm just guessing, okay, it could be to give it better centre imaging. Uh, because by putting the tweeters in the centre, you do get better centre imaging. So when people are singing and voices, they're bang right in the middle. However, you do sacrifice some stereo imaging by not putting them on the outside. So it swings and roundabouts, really. But on, the, on a box that's, what, uh, just over a foot long, your stereo imaging isn't going to be great anyway. So does it matter? I don't know. On the top, then, you've got your volume button. You press and hold it to turn it on, press and hold it to turn it off. Uh, you've got your play pause here. Uh, Skip forward, skip track back. Okay, on the back then, I know we've already seen it. You've got that passive subwoofer you saw on the uh, uh, box opening. And then you've got your SD card, your USB, line in, coaxial, and your, char your charging point and your power, just there, USB-C. Now, it's funny to have a coaxial, isn't it? Now, it's quite interesting to have a coaxial in because potentially you could, you could plug this into your television, okay? If, you're, if your TV's got a coaxial out. Uh, so that's interesting, really, isn't it? I could also plug my CD player into this as well. <laughs> so there we are. Now, it is only using Bluetooth SBC, not the best Bluetooth codec. Um, I would like to see some better codecs on it. Maybe in the future they could look to doing that. Uh, would you notice it in a speaker like this, the sound? Probably not. Um, but it doesn't have anything other than SBC. So just be aware of that. One thing I will say to you is when you get this, okay, and you listen to it for the first time, it sounds a bit, mm, bit harsh. 
okay? It sounded a little bit harsh and uh, the bass wasn't quite there. It had bass, but it wasn't quite there. So I thought, what I'll do, I'll just leave it play for about two or three hours, okay? Because when it's brand new, especially the passive radiator, it's got to loosen up. Okay, it, has, it does have to loosen up. As do, as do the speakers at the front. So you've got to give it a bit of time uh, so the, the drivers can sort of work loose a little bit. And thankfully, when I came back to it, um, when I came back to it about two hours later, it had really, it, it was really mellowed out. That harshness had gone, you know, the bass had got, the bass had come back into it a little bit and the mids weren't so harsh. So make sure if you do get this speaker, you run it in for a good couple of hours, okay, before you, you know, make your decision whether it's a good sound or not. So how does it sound? Well, do you know what? Not bad at all. Uh, it is quite a bright speaker, uh, but I wouldn't say that the treble is sibilant or harsh, but it is quite bright, so something to be aware of. Mids are nice and clear. Uh, it does have good centre imaging because of where the tweeters are. Um, Bass-wise, it doesn't go down really low, okay? It's not super bassy, but the bass it does produce is decent. It's quite punchy, uh, and if you're not really a bass head, it shouldn't worry you too much, okay? Uh, it's not like some other party speaker I've got where the bass is insane, but it sacrifices all the mid-range. So it, it's quite even. It's, it's a bit more of an even speak, speaker right across, uh, cr across, across. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> Across the frequency range. <laughs> okay. Right. I've got it set up in the kitchen. <laughs> it's behind me there. It's behind you. Uh, so I've got it set up here. Now, the reason I've done this is because quite a lot of people have some type of echo device playing in the background. Okay. And they use it for music, playing radio, whatever, okay? So this is an Echo uh, third gen, uh, Echo Plus, you know, and it's decent, it's all right for what it does. For the size of the speaker, they, they play pretty good. The fourth gen's a teeny bit better, I suppose, but not by much. So I just wanted to give you a comparison to how this sounds, because this was something, this is not something you would carry around with you, okay? Outside, it's not a portable speaker. It's something you'd have in your house, on the side, listening to music in the background, potentially, okay? Maybe you've got some friends over, whatever. You could use it for that. It's more for in the home, I'd imagine. Maybe in an office, I don't know. Okay, so anyway now, I'm just gonna, oh, by the way, I both got them set, I think, to three quarters volume, just to give you a comparison, all right? So let's do the Echo Plus first. I'll just use my mic for this, okay? This one. Blow my ears off, is it? The three quarters volume. Okay, let's turn this on and it should go on that switch to the Bluetooth on this. Okay. Overall, just much better sound than the Echoes. Just to give you an example of how they sound, okay? I, did what, I just wanted to compare it to something to give you an idea. You know what I'm saying, don't you? Anyway, so all in all, I think this is a nice little speaker for the home. I think it's 50 watts in total. Goes pretty loud. Uh, and 
I think on their website, it's on offer. So on, on Amazon.com, on Amazon, Amazon UK is £150. On Amazon.com US, it's $150, $149.99. On their website, it's currently going for, I think, £99, which is a bit of a bargain for this, actually. Not bad at all. So links will be in the description box below. Go and have a look at that. That's come to the end of the video. If you got this far, don't forget to subscribe. Get sorted out. And I'll catch you in the next one.